So it is now time for trivia. We have a total of five rounds today, keeping with our usual pattern. Starting off with round one, which is all general trivia, then a visual round, then a music round. Round four is the hidden theme round, and then finishing off once again with general trivia to end things off. In case you need some tips on how to play, there is uh, there is a link down below to a Google form where you can submit your answers. And you won't have to submit answers until the very end, so you have time to think about it. And the questions will come up on the stream. I'm also happy to flip back and forth if you need to see the questions again at any point. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into round one, question one. If all the integers from one to a hundred were written on a piece of paper, how many times would the digit seven be written? Once again, round one, question one. If all the integers from one to a hundred were written on a piece of paper, how many times would the digit seven be written? And here, write your answer as a numeral, so the single character zero, not Z-E-R-O. Oh, thanks for hosting me, LK. So ask, how's the volume? Oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear a bit of the background music as well as hear my voice. Can adjust the volume a little quiet. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I just bumped up my own volume. Hopefully that's a bit better. Better, okay. I think this is the highest I can get it. Pump up the noise. Going on to round one, question two. Round one, question two. What Mexican food item takes its name from the Spanish for little donkey, possibly because it can carry a lot of different things? Once again, round one, question two. What Mexican food item takes its name from the Spanish for little donkey, possibly because it can carry a lot of different things. <laughs> what mayonnaise? There's no mayonnaise anywhere. Moving on to question three. Round one, question three. The Office, that is the US version of The Office, is no longer available on Netflix as of the beginning of 2021, as it has moved to what NBC Universal streaming service? Dark Blend Coca Cola? I'm going to come back to that after I read this one again. Round one, question three. The Office. The US version is no longer available on Netflix as of the beginning of 2021, as it has moved to what NBC Universal streaming service? Coke and coffee. A 
still on UK Netflix. Maybe I should move back to the UK. Oh, thanks, Corey. <laughs> Making use of that Prime subscription. By the way, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription to a Twitch channel each month. And if you choose to subscribe to this channel, then Amazon pays me a bit of money. So if you have an Amazon Prime account and you're not using Twitch Prime or Prime Gaming, as I think it's now called, uh, then, you know, I would appreciate it. VPN. NordVPN? NerdVPN? Let's move on to question four. Round one, question four. The bag and shoes shown here are created by what Italian fashion brand? Once again, round one, question four. The bag and shoes shown here are created by what Italian fashion brand? Yes. <laughs> Okay, you are too kind. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the subs. Yes, indeed. Addy's been on here for quite a while, so I appreciate it. Let's move on to question five. Round one, question five. OLED TVs are the new cutting edge standard in displays. What does the O stand for, reflecting that they include layers of carbon-based polymers? Once again, round one, question five. OLED TVs are the new cutting edge standard in displays. What does the O stand for, reflecting that they include layers of carbon based polymers? Oh, it was. <laughs> How's my tooth? My tooth is better. I had a bike accident about a, a little more than a year ago, and uh, it permanently damaged one of my front teeth. So, had to get that fixed, but yes, it is better. from I Just Love Dan. Let's go on to question six. Round one, question six. What term for a cloud that produces precipitation gives its name to the model of the first broomstick that Harry Potter owns? Once again, round one, question six. What term for a cloud that produces precipitation gives its name to the model of the first broomstick that Harry Potter owns. Ah, intersection of TV and electronics. It is relevant to both those things.
<laughs> Drinks and electronics. Is there a question about Jolt in there? Ah, electric lemonades. I don't even know what that is. I'll have to Google that later. On to round one, question seven. Round one, question seven. We are drawing near to the end of the year of the rat and the start of the Chinese New Year on February 12th, 2021. What is it the year of? Once again, round one, question seven. We are drawing near to the end of the year of the rat and the start of Chinese New Year on February 12th, 2021. What will it be the year of? Citrus Kodka? I don't even know what that is. That sounds like fish vodka, which... I don't know if I'd be down for that. Oh, okay, it was a typo, but... Kodka should be a thing. Not a thing that I would try, but it should be a thing in general. Just for amusement. Also, I believe if you subscribe, you have access to the boo emoji, so you can boo me in style. <laughs> ah, there it is. Love to see it. Moving on to question eight, round one, question eight. Perhaps evoking the smoke from steel mills there, what US city was referenced in the term blank rare to describe a steak cooked with such a high temperature it left the outside charred, but the inside rare? Once again, round one, question eight. Perhaps evoking the smoke from steel mills there, what US city was referenced in the term blank rare to describe a steak cooked with such a high temperature, it left the outside charred, but the inside rare. I mean, I don't even know if you could How high do barbecues go in Fahrenheit? Probably, I think the one I've used goes to 500. I'm guessing that this cooking a steak this way would require even higher temperatures. <laughs> Mr. Squiz, that is me. My name is Dan, and my last name is Squiz. As much as it pains me to move on from steak, let's go on to round one, question nine. The Canadian authored novel titled The Testaments, which was a joint winner of the 2019 Booker Prize, is the sequel to what dystopian 1985 novel? Once again, question nine. The Canadian authored novel titled The Testaments, which was a joint which was a joint winner of the 2019 Booker Prize, is the sequel to what dystopian 1985 novel?
700 Fahrenheit. Hmm. Lexi, you're gonna have uh, a lot of people in the chat doing some math here. <laughs> Charcoal chimney. Hmm. I have to say, I haven't lived in a place where I've needed to buy a grill, but I should consider it one day. I'll have to look into that in more detail. And the last question of the round is question 10. Round one, question 10. What was the name of the lunar module that took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from Apollo 11 to the surface of the moon in July 1969, leading to an iconic announcement when it safely touched down in the Sea of Tranquility? And thank you, Deep Sea Turtle, for the follow. Round one, question 10 is, what was the name of the lunar module that took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from Apollo 11 to the surface of the moon in July 1969, leading to an iconic announcement when it safely touched down in the Sea of Tranquility. <laughs> nice, says Dr. Dansquiz. 800. Yeah, I did some barbecuing over the weekend, but I think, I think the grill I used gets up to just around 500 at, at tops, so. Still tasty though. Something about food that comes from a grill. Whether it's meat or veggies. Anyway, I'm going to conclude round one and give you a second to review all the questions from round one, including if you missed some of the questions earlier on. Starting off with question one, if all the integers from one to 100 were written on a piece of paper, how many times would the digit seven be written? Number two, what Mexican food item takes its name from the Spanish for little donkey, possibly because it can carry a lot of different things? Question three, the office the US, is no longer available on Netflix, or US Netflix as I've been told, as of the beginning of 2021, as it has moved to what NBC Universal streaming service? Question four, the bag and shoes, shown here, let me know if you want to flip back to those pictures. They were created by what Italian fashion brand? Question five, OLED TVs and their new cutting edge standard and displays what does the O stand for, reflecting that they include layers of carbon-based polymers? Question six, what term for a cloud that produces precipitation gives its name to the model of the first broomstick that Harry Potter owns? Question seven, we are drawing near to the end of the year of the rat and the start of the Chinese New Year on February 12th, 2021. What will it be the year of? Question eight, perhaps evoking the smoke from steel mills there, what US city was referenced in the term blank rare to describe a steak with the outside charred, but the inside rare? Question nine, the Canadian authored novel titled The Testaments, which was a joint winner of the 2019 Booker Prize, is the sequel to what dystopian 1985 novel? And question 10, what was the name of the lunar module that took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from Apollo 11 to the surface of the moon in July 1969, leading to an iconic announcement when it safely touched down in the Sea of Tranquility. So that is it from round one. Now I will flip to round two, which is the visual round. The way that this works is this visual round is all about people. And so all these people have the same initials. Those initials are MC. That should give you a hint as to who they are. And so for each of these, given the picture, provide their first and last name. 
of each person. Passionate about steak preparation. I am too. <laughs> Primary skilled seal often sous vide. Corey used Montreal steak and Lowry's. Kosher something. Okay, I think your method is very close to mine. Although, I haven't gone to the garlic rosemary thyme basting. I've been just buttering it as it rests. But yeah, getting the crust. The crust is key. I love that this is a topic that people have strong opinions on. Sprinkle of lemon peel. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like this is the, this chat conversation is the equivalent of uh, that letter Kenny scene where they're talking about steak. S and P the way for me. <laughs> no, I think we, I think I said that and Corey typed that independently. <laughs> I didn't see the chat message until after I said it. That's great. <laughs> Always bird of beef. I'm gonna flip to the next slide so you can see four, five, and six. People four, five, and six. Again, all with the initials MC. That makes sense, okay. Just matters what you have in your cupboard to begin with. shoot out the lasers from your eyes that everyone else has. Wag you jerky. Balsamic vinegar, interesting. Lexi, I'm curious as to how that changes the flavor. I never thought of putting uh, vinegar or balsamic on, on steak. Should I just rename this stream to Let's Talk About Steak for Two Hours? start writing down some of these suggestions.
and I'm flipping to 7 and 8. I will show a slide at the end in case I'm flipping through these too fast, or you can let me know if we're going too slow. Getting engaged by all this steak conversation. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, that, oh my goodness. High stakes. Engaging with stakeholders. It's right in the title. Full tenderloin. All right, I'm going to flip to nine and ten. Corey, your question reminds me of the question, has anyone been so far as to go more do look like? make that list while I flip to the summary slide. Give about a minute on this. So, writing down on the back of an envelope here, things that I have not tried. Lowry's, sous vide, balsamic, the, the kosher salt pre-brine, dry brine. What else? McCormick Brazilian Steakhouse? This is going to turn into the Dan's Cooking Channel, since my last name is also Scooking Channel. And with that, let's move past round two. If you need more time to look at these pictures, then I can flip back to them during the break. But otherwise, let's move on to round three, which is the music round. Unfortunately, because of copyright reasons, I can't play the music round on YouTube. So this video will skip to round four. I hope you can join the next live stream and play a music round then. Round four is the hidden theme round. So the way that this works is I will ask a total of nine questions in this round that may seem to be unrelated, but there actually is one connection that, uh, that brings them all together. And so question 10 will, to, will be to identify the theme that connects the first nine answers in the round. So without further ado, let's go into round four, question one. Question one, what is the capital of the country that is composed of the North Island, the 14th largest island in the world, and the South Island, the 12th largest in the world? 
Once again, round four, question one. What is the capital of the country that is composed of the North Island, the 14th largest island in the world, and the South Island, the 12th largest in the world? And once again, I'm not looking for the name of the country. I'm looking for the name of the capital of that country, the capital of the country. The next question is question two. Question two. The Steve Miller Band song, The Joker, begins with the line, Some people call me the space. What? What goes in that blank? Once again, question two. The Steve Miller Band song, The Joker, begins with the line, Some people call me the space blank. What goes in that blank? The next question is question three, round four, question three. What two-word tagline accompanied the original version of the video game Halo, which was released for the Xbox in November 2001? Once again, round four, question three. What two-word tagline accompanied the original version of the video game Halo, released for the Xbox in November 2001? Moving on to the next question. The next question is question four. Round four, question four. Two new events were introduced at the 1998 Winter Olympics. Curling was one. And what other event, which perhaps embarrassingly saw the gold medalist initially disqualified due to testing positive for THC? Once again, question four. Two new events were introduced at the 1998 Winter Olympics. Curling, and what other event? Which perhaps embarrassingly saw the gold medalist initially disqualified due to testing positive for THC. <laughs> talk to her, talk curly to me. <laughs> Once again, 
That's the lyrics of the song, right? song by Jason Derulo. The next question is question five, round four, question five. In what film which won the Best Picture Oscar in 2000, would you hear the protagonist give the order, at my signal, unleash hell? Once again, question five. In what film, which won the Best Picture Oscar in 2000, would you hear the protagonist give the order, at my signal, unleash hell? Yeah, Jason Derulo is actually a Pokemon. All he can say is his his own name. I learned a while back that his he actually his last name is actually Derulo, but spelled in a very French way, like D E S R O U L. E A U X, I think. De Rouleau. He wants you to talk dirty to me. I think there's an SNL skit in that vein. Just a whole bunch of rappers saying their own names. <laughs> Jenny would dig it. Moving on to question six, round four, question six. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, the, Brit the Brazilian city of Manaus prospered due to the booming industry of producing what material extracted from the tree Hevea brasiliensis? Once again, round four, question six. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, the Brazilian city of Manaus prospered due to the booming industry of producing what material extracted from the tree Hevea brasiliensis? I've heard, and I don't know where this is from, but if young Metro don't trust you, he's going to shoot you. I've heard it said a few times, usually at the beginning of songs as well. are looking for YouTube fodder in that brain, in that brain, <laughs> in that vein, um, should search up Parked Out by the Lake. I believe that's what it's called, Parked Out by the Lake. It's a great song.
On to question seven, round four, question seven. The fact that Snapchat is banned in China enabled a South Korean clone version to capture millions of users when launched in 2016. What is the name of this app? Once again, round four, question seven. The fact that Snapchat is banned in China enabled a South Korean clone version to capture millions of users when launched in 2016. What is the name of this app? got me wondering about the phenomenon of people starting songs by saying their own name. I guess it's a branding thing. So YouTubers do it too. Should I start my streams with, hey guys, it's Dance Quiz here, here with another Five round quiz to blow your minds. That's the vibe that your guy's looking for, you know? That's the vibe of this stream, it's just really being really excited. Round four, question eight. Question eight What Premier League football club, which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge, is the only London based team to win the Champions League? Once again, round four, question eight. What Premier League football club, which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge, is the only London-based team to win the Champions League? <laughs> Why am I yelling? I don't know. Why is everyone else yelling? <laughs> DJ Khaled, he the best music. Maybe it's a participle phrase, like he, comma, the best music, comma, rest of sentence. Say it in an English accent? It. <laughs> Oh, for this question. Ah, I see. What Premier League football club, which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge, is the only London-based team to win the Champions League? What Premier League football club, which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge, is the only London-based team to win the Champions League? Champions. <laughs> uh. That's a Ted Lasso reference. Enough of that. On to question nine. Round four, question nine. Though the official name is a federal electoral district, Canadians typically refer to one of their 338 constituencies by what six-letter term? Some CanCon in there. With question nine, though the official name is a federal electoral district, Canadians typically refer to one of their 338 constituencies by what six-letter term? More like a chaff. Can't, I can't do that. <laughs> My English accent ends up being a hybrid of the Sainsbury's announcements, so the grocery store announcements, and the uh, the announcements at train stations. <laughs> K 
Canadian accent isn't an option. Canadian accent is my accent. I'm Canadian. Gosh, I don't know if I could do that in the... Like a southern Manitoba, Minnesota. Too many accents today. Let's move on to question 10, which is what do all these things have in common? That is the answers to the first nine questions of the round. So in case you need reminding as to what those first nine questions are, here they are. Question one was, what is the capital of the country that is composed of the North Island, which is the 14th largest island in the world, and the South Island, which is the 12th largest in the world? Once again, I'm looking for the capital of that country, not the country name. Question two, the Steve Miller band song, The Joker, begins with the line, some people call me the space what? Question three, what two-word tagline accompanied the original version of the video game Halo, released for the Xbox in November 2001? Question four, two new events were introduced at the 1998 Winter Olympics, curling, and what other event which perhaps embarrassingly saw the gold medalist initially disqualified due to testing positive for THC? Question five, in what film which won the Best Picture Oscar in 2000 would you hear the protagonist give the order, at my signal, unleash hell? Question six, in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the Brazilian city of Manaus prospered due to the booming industry of producing what material extracted from the tree, Hevea Brasiliensis? Question seven, the fact that Snapchat is banned in China enabled a South Korean clone version to capture millions of users when launched in 2016. What is the name of this app? Question eight, what Premier League football club which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge is the only London-based team to win the Champions League? Question nine, though the official name is a federal electoral district, Canadians typically refer to one of their 338 constituencies by what six letter term? And question 10 is to identify the theme that connects the first nine answers in this round. Okay, so that brings us to the final round, which is general trivia in round five. Starting off with question one. What name, first and last, is shared between the alias of The Flash and a man dubbed Mr. TKO for hitting a man with a can of twisted tea in a late 2020 viral video? What name, first and last, is shared between the alias of The Flash and a man dubbed Mr. TKO for hitting a man with a can of twisted tea in a late 2020 viral video? Ohio Khan. <laughs> I didn't know that was in Ohio. I didn't register location in that, but good to know. English accent, Scottish accent. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, I was in Cleveland area. I guess in this case, neither of the men were Florida men. So I guess what, what we're saying is that there's two superheroes in this question. <laughs> Keep it civil, guys. No, I got you, Lexi. On to question two, round five, question two. What is the correctly spelled name of the fictional family of bears shown in this picture? Spelling always counts, but it particularly counts in this question. What is the correctly spelled name of the fictional family of bears shown in this picture?
In this reality, yes. In this current universe that we're living in. This crazy, crazy universe. Wonder what GameStop stock is in, in the other universes. Just a matter of time. Diamond hands. Fair enough, LK. Fair enough. On to question three, round five, question three. As announced in November 2020, what Canadian singer, born Abel Mackinnon Tesfay, will headline the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 55 halftime show on February the 7th? Once again, round five, question three. As announced in November 2020, what Canadian singer born Abel Mackinnon Tesfe will headline the Super Bowl 55 halftime show on February the 7th? Well, thanks for following, Jay. Timing is hard to predict. Timing is impossible to predict. In the meantime, moving on to question four, round five, question four. Orchestras traditionally tune with the note A at 440 hertz. The A string on a guitar is two octaves below that, which would be how many hertz? Once again, question four. Orchestras traditionally tune with the note A at 440 hertz. The A string on a guitar is two octaves below that, which would be how many hertz? The next question is question five. Round five, question five. What is the name of the central text of Rabbinic Judaism, which contains the two components of the Mishnah and the Gemara? Once again, round five, question five. What is the name of the central text of Rabbinic Judaism, which contains the two components of the Mishnah and the Gemara?
The next question is question six, round five, question six. The story of the Trojan War is contained within what epic poem written by Homer? Again, round five, question six. The story of the Trojan War is contained within what epic poem written by Homer? It's 87 now. It's so crazy. On to question seven. Question seven. Following the birth of her child X, officially the name that is shown on the slide, the indie musician formerly known as Grimes now goes by what single letter moniker inspired by the speed of light? Once again, round five, question seven. Following the birth of her child X, the indie musician formerly known as Grimes now goes by what single letter moniker inspired by the speed of light? Okay, next is question eight. Named for two potential reactions after a performance, what term refers to the area where figure skaters and their coaches sit and wait for their marks to be announced after a routine? Once again, round five, question eight. Named for two potential reactions after a performance, what term refers to the area where figure skaters and their coaches sit and wait for their marks to be announced after a routine. penultimate question for tonight, for today, is question nine. Also known as plasterboard, what building material is made by combining gypsum with water and chemicals to form a thick slurry, sandwiching it between thick paper, and baking it in industrial ovens? Again, round five, question nine, also known as plasterboard, what building material is made by combining gypsum with water and chemicals to form a thick slurry, sandwiching it with thick paper, and baking it 
in industrial ovens. And the final question for tonight is question 10. If you had the letters E, E, I, N, O, P, R on your Scrabble rack, what seven letter word could you make? Okay, and as you puzzle through that, I will review all the questions in round five. Question one, what name, first and last, is shared between the alias of the Flash and a man dubbed Mr. TKO for hitting a man with a can of twisted tea in a late 2020 viral video? Question two, what is the correctly spelled name of the fictional family of bears shown in this picture? Let me know if you want the picture again. Question three, as announced in November 2020, what Canadian singer-born Abel Mackinnon Tesfe will headline the Super Bowl 55 halftime show on February 7th? Question four, orchestras traditionally tune with the note A at 440 hertz. The eight string on a guitar is two octaves below that, which would be how many hertz? Question five, what is the name of the central text of Rabbinic Judaism, which contains the two components of the Mishnah and the Gemara? Question six, the story of the Trojan War is contained within what epic poem written by Homer? Question seven, following the birth of her child X, the indie musician formerly known as Grimes now goes by what single letter moniker inspired by the speed of light? Question eight, named for two potential reactions after a performance, what term refers to the area where figure skaters and their coaches sit and wait for their marks to be announced after a routine? Question nine, also known as plasterboard, what building material is made by combining gypsum with water and chemicals to form a thick slurry, sandwiching it with thick paper and baking it in industrial ovens? And question 10, if you have the letters E, E, I, N, O, P, R on your Scrabble rack, what seven letter word could you make? So those are all the questions. I'm going to give you a few minutes to finalize your answers. So let's jump right into the answers. Starting all the way back in round one. Round one, question one. If all the integers from one to 100 are written on a piece of paper, how many times would the digit seven be written? It would be a total of 20 times. As you can see from this diagram here, it'd be written 10 times in the tens position. Wait, well, <laughs> the diagram isn't exactly correct. 80 should not be highlighted, um, 70 should be, but the answer is the same. It's 20 times. Boo is the answer. I know, I know. 
Question two, what Mexican food item takes its name from the Spanish for little donkey, possibly because it can carry a lot of different things? That is a burrito, a burrito. Question three, the office is no longer available on US Netflix as of the beginning of 2021, as it has moved to what NBC Universal streaming service? That streaming service is Peacock, Peacock. Round one, question four, the bag and shoes shown here are created by the brand Fendi, the Italian fashion brand Fendi. Question five, OLED TVs are the new cutting edge standard in displays. What does the O stand for reflecting that they include layers of carbon-based polymers? It stands for organic, organic LED TVs. Round one, question six. What term for a cloud that produces precipitation gives its name to the model of the first broomstick that Harry Potter owns? That is the Nimbus, Nimbus cloud or the Nimbus 2000. Round one, question seven. We are drawing near to the end of the year of the rat and start of the Chinese New Year on February 12th, 2021. It will be the year of the ox, year of the ox. I believe in some legends, the rat was riding on the ox's bat on the back, but then jumped off and crossed the finish line before the ox did. Round one, question eight. Perhaps evoking the smoke from steel mills there, what US city was referenced in the term blank rare to describe a steak cooked with such a high temperature it left the outside charred, but the inside rare? That is Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh rare. And of course that spawned the whole discussion on steak. If you want a recap of that, well, if you have questions, you can follow afterwards on what the recommendations were. Round one, question nine. The Canadian authored novel titled The Testaments, which was a joint winner of the 2019 Booker Prize, is the sequel to what dystopian 1985 novel? That novel is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Round one, question 10. What was the name of the lunar module that took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from Apollo 11 to the surface of the moon in July 1969, leading to an iconic announcement when it safely touched down in the Sea of Tranquility? That module was, the, was called the Eagle, and the saying was, the Eagle has landed. The Eagle has landed. On to round two, which was a visual round all about people. Uh, so. Each of these people had the initials MC, and you had to give their first and last name. So number one is Mark Cuban, then Michael Che, and Marie Curie. For four, five, and six, we had Margaret Cho, had Michael Caine, and Misty Copeland, ballet dancer. Number seven was Margaret Court, Australian tennis player. Number eight is Magnus Carlsen, who's a chess champion, I believe he's Norwegian. And number nine was Miguel Cabrera. And number 10, Miley Cyrus. So that was the visual round. Then we went into the music round, where you had to give the title of the song as well as the performing artist. Song number one was What's My Age Again by Blink-182. Song number two was Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Song number three was Poison and Wine by The Civil Wars. Song number four was Leader of the Pack by The Shangri-Las. Song number five was The Box by Roddy Rich. Song number seven is Machine Head by Bush. Song seven was Water Under the Bridge by Adele. Song number eight is Riders on the Storm by The Doors. Song number nine is I Don't Feel Like Dancing by The Scissor Sisters. And song number 10 is Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. And the theme that connects all of these songs together is the theme Ice. So we had Ice Age, Ice Cream, Ice Wine, Ice Pack, Ice Box, Ice Machine, Ice Water, Ice Storm, Ice Dancing, and Ice Queen. Well done if you got that theme somewhat disguised this time around. And round four was also a themed round, this time with word questions. Question one, what is the capital of the country that is composed of the North Island 
and the South Island. That country is New Zealand, and its capital is Wellington. Wellington. Round four, question two. The Steve Miller Band song, The Joker, begins with the line, Some people call me the space what? Is the space cowboy. Round four, question three. What two-word tagline accompanied the original version of the video game Halo, released for the Xbox in November 2001? That was Combat Evolved. Halo Combat Evolved. Question four. Two new events were introduced at the 1998 Winter Olympics, curling, and what other event which perhaps embarrassingly saw the gold medalist initially disqualified due to testing positive for THC? That was snowboard, or snowboarding. Question five. In what film which won the Best Picture Oscar in 2000 would you hear the protagonist give the order, at my signal, unleash hell? That movie is Gladiator. Gladiator. Question six. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, the Brazilian city of Manaus prospered due to the booming industry of producing what material extracted from the tree Hevea brasiliensis? That was rubber. Rubber. Round four, question seven. The fact that Snapchat is banned in China enabled a South Korean clone to capture millions of users when launched in 2016. What is the name of this app? The name of this app is Snow. Snow. Question eight. What Premier League football club, which plays its home games at Stamford Bridge, is the only London-based team to win the Champions League? That is Chelsea. Chelsea is that team. And question nine, though the official name is a federal electoral district, Canadians typically refer to one of their 338 constituencies by what six-letter term? That term is a riding. A riding. And what connects all of these things? Wellington, cowboy, combat, snowboard, gladiator, rubber, snow, Chelsea, and riding. They are all types of boots. Wellington boots, cowboy boots, combat boots, snowboard boots, gladiator boots, rubber boots, snow boots, Chelsea boots, and riding boots. If you got that theme, very well done. That takes us to the final round of general trivia with question one. What is the name, first and last, of the alias of the Flash and a man dubbed Mr. TKO for hitting a man with a can of twisted tea in a late 2020 viral video? His name is Barry Allen. Barry Allen. Question two, what is the correctly spelled name of the fictional family of bears shown in this picture? That is the Berenstain Bears. Commonly mixed up with the Berenstain Bears. S-T-A-I-N. Mr. TKO is an amazing nickname. It really is. <laughs> I think he's really leaned into that with some branding afterwards. Uh, round five, question three. As announced in November 2020, what Canadian singer born Abel McConan Tesfaye will headline the Super Bowl 55 halftime show on February 7th? That is The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Bernstein? I don't know how to pronounce it. Bernstein it is. Round five, question four. Orchestras traditionally tune with the note A at 440 hertz. The A string on a guitar is two octaves below that, which would be how many hertz? So octaves are separated by twice as many hertz. So one octave below the orchestra A is 220 hertz, and two octaves below would be 110 hertz. Every octave doubles the number of hertz in a note. Berenstein? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> anyway, it's spelled with A-I-N. Question five. The name of the central text of Rabbinic Judaism, which contains the two components of the Mishnah and the Gemara, that is the Talmud. The Talmud. Round five, question six. The story of the Trojan War is contained within what epic poem written by Homer? It is contained within the Iliad. The Iliad. Question seven. Following the birth of her child X, the indie musician formerly known as Grimes now goes by what single letter moniker inspired by the speed of light? So the speed of light is commonly represented by the letter C. 
C is the moniker that she now goes by. Round five, question eight. Named after two potential reactions after a performance, what term refers to the area where figure skaters and their coaches sit and wait for their marks to be announced after a routine? The area is called the kiss and cry. The kiss and cry. Question nine, also known as plasterboard, what building material is made by combining gypsum with water and chemicals to form a thick slurry, sandwiching it with thick paper and baking it in industrial ovens? That term is drywall. Drywall. Oh, that's right, her birth name is Claire. That does make sense for Grimes. Okay. Round five, question 10. If you had the letters E, E, I, N, O, P, R on your Scrabble rack, the seven letter word that you could make is pioneer. Pioneer. 